Power Boat Television, North America's premier boating show. Here's this week's My Boat feature. Retrieving your anchor could sometimes be a really messy business, and trying to wash off all the mud with a bucket really doesn't cut it. What you have to have is a wash down system. So this week on My Boat, we'll show you how to install one. First task in getting started with this project is to determine where you're going to put the pump and especially the through hull for the wash down system. Now in the case of this particular boat, the best location we can find is going to be here in the engine compartment so you can access the through hull as well as service the pump. With the boat on shore, the next step was to select the ideal location for the through hull on the hull and take locating measurements from fixed points. In this case, another through hull. Back inside the engine compartment, these measurements were transferred and marked on the inside of the hull. With the location marked, a pilot hole was drilled through the hull. Back under the boat, a hole saw was used to make the correct diameter opening. When starting, the drill was first run in reverse to score the gel coat to prevent chipping, then forward at medium speed to cut the hole. Next, with the through hull set in place, its outside diameter was marked and the bottom paint was removed where the bedding would seal the fitting to the hull. Before inserting the through hull, a generous bead of marine grade sealant suitable for below the waterline applications was applied to the fitting. Then the fitting was inserted and pressed into place. Back inside the boat, I laid down another bead of sealant around the fitting. The flange nut was then threaded on by hand then snugged down with an adjustable wrench. After applying sealant to the threads on the ball valve, the valve was threaded onto the through hull and tightened by hand, then seated tightly with a wrench. Finally, the movement of the valve was checked, then closed so we could relaunch the boat. Back in the water and back on board with all of the required parts and tools at hand, the Jabasco washdown pump was prepped for mounting by first installing rubber vibration dampeners. With the pump in position, I used a drill to mark the mounting holes, then removed the pump and completed drilling the holes. After filling the holes with marine sealant, the pump was put in place and secured with stainless screws. To hook up the inlet line, the first task was to install a snap-in barb fitting in the supplied inlet strainer. Then insert the outlet of the strainer into the inlet of the pump and lock it in place. After applying silicone to the threads, a barb was installed in the ball valve ready for the hose. Using two stainless steel clamps, the reinforced inlet hose was secured to the through hull, then to the inlet side of the strainer on the pump. Now with the pump installed, the next water line you'd run typically is from the pump in the aft of the boat forward here to the bow, where you'd put in the connection for the wash down hose itself in the locker provided. Now in the case of this express cruiser, the route to get a hose through is virtually impossible without gutting the interior. So we're going to go with installation plan B. Now our plan B is to install the connection for the washdown hose here in the cockpit, which is a typical location you'll find on a sport fish or a convertible. With the position for the quick connect hose fitting marked, the hole was cut following the same process as the through hole. The required length of hose was measured and attached to the outlet port of the pump again with double clamps. Then the hose was fed up out of the mounting hole and secured to the barb on the quick connect. With the connector in place and aligned, the mounting holes were drilled, silicone sealant applied to the back of the fixture and it was set in place and secured. The next task was to run the power wires, as always using marine grade wire of the proper gauge for the run and load but I won't bore you with the fun process of fishing the wire through to the DC panel. After crimping ring connectors on the power leads, the positive was connected to an existing breaker in the panel and the negative to the negative bus bar. Finally, the wiring was tidied up with quick ties and the panel closed and secured. Back in the engine compartment, waterproof butt connectors were used to hook up the wiring to the positive and negative leads and the through hull valve opened. After hooking up a hose, I was ready to try out the high pressure pump. Well, there you go. 
After 10 years of my wife Lisa using a bucket, she's really going to appreciate this. But when she finds out how easy it was, I think I'm really going to be in trouble. But after working down below today on a 30 degree day, that's enough. <laughs>